this construction over here. Okay. Like construction. Hey guys. So me and my daughter, we're taking a walk. We're literally taking a walk around the park on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. So I want to do this video. And <clears throat> having a convo with my sister. And I said to her, a lot of black people come from struggle, right? <clears throat> and the only reason that we come from struggle is because We were taught to come from a struggle. We were taught that our ancestors, the slaves in the 1600s, came here, right, and struggled. So we believe, as black people, that we have to struggle for everything. We believe that we have to struggle for everything that we get. We believe that nothing comes easy. So, what happens is we act accordingly. We act as if <laughs> nothing comes easy. We act as if we have to work our asses off like a fucking horse. We act like it. So people struggle because they were not taught to live life freely and abundantly, right? We weren't taught it. But if we were taught that we come from kings and queens, right? We were taught that we come from queens who ruled, kings who ruled, kings who took care of everybody in the family, right? Kings who took care of the whole fucking village, the whole nation, the kings who provided jobs, for other people in the village, right? In the towns, queens who provided employment or, or, or jobs, queens who provided food and nurturing and teaching for the kids, right? So that's where we come from, royalty. We had everything we wanted. We had all the food. We kept everything in-house, right? We kept everything in-house. If you had something or your sister had something, right? We both got it, right? You know something, you gonna teach your sister. You gonna teach your brother. You gonna teach your neighbor down the block, right? We come from wealth. We come from abundance. We come from prosperity and riches. You don't see all these trees? The government didn't plant all this shit. The government don't plant trees and have trees flowing all over the goddamn place. <laughs> like this, this is abundance. This is God. You see this? This is God. God created. Right? God created all of this stuff. So we come from wealth, black folks. We don't come from poor and struggling. You know, we got to struggle for everything and everything's a struggle and I can't get into a good relationship or I'm a single mom struggling or, you know, I'm a single dad you know, struggling, or me and my husband together, we're fucking struggling. No, we gotta change that belief, man. We come from abundance. If you just go outside, all these trees over there across the street, if you just go outside and just look and say, how the hell did all these trees get here, right? How in the hell did all these trees get here? The government didn't go planting trees. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, someone had to do the dirt and all that, but all this shit is from God, man. Ain't nobody went in the sky and put clouds. Who went in the sky and put clouds? They injected some shit? No, guys, this is all God. And if we believe that God is abundant, God is prosperous, God wants us to be fruitful and multiply, then we create our own. We'll have our own businesses. We'll be able to employ our people in our village 
we be able to employ family members. We be able to employ, you know, our children instead of sending them to another family that got it right. Right? So we only struggle, right? Because this is what we were taught. My mom struggled. She never had money for nothing. So as a woman, I grew up. Oh, well, I never got money for nothing. Right? If my mom always talked about riches and prosperity, then I'll grow up as a little girl and woman talking about riches and prosperity. Right? So we don't have to struggle. We choose to struggle. Right? We choose to struggle. A lot of people lost their jobs. They're choosing. Right? They're choosing to allow that job to let them go. They're choosing that, right? Now, some people may say, oh, how can they choose that? They job let them go. Yes, because you wasn't living in abundance in the first place. If you only had one job, that's not abundant. That's stagnation. That's hardly survival mode. Huh? So yes, you have a choice if you want to continue to struggle. All these opportunities that God gave us in the world and you focused on one job, then, you know, I always say this, may sound harsh, right? But you deserve everything you get <laughs> if you're not living in abundance, honestly. You deserve everything you get if you're not living in prosperity, right? You, you deserve everything you get, right? <laughs> if you're not living principles of the universe, right? So if you get all the headache and heartache and you know, body aches and, you know, all that stuff. You deserve it because all this is abundant. And God said we can have anything that we want, right? God said we can have anything that we want if we help enough people get what they want. It's just how it works, right? So we come from abundance, guys. We come from riches. We come from having a lot, not having just enough, you know? So I told my sister, we don't have to struggle. We struggle because we've seen our moms do it. And then we'll become adults. Now we let fear take over. To start a business, I'm scared. <laughs> to invest money, oh, I'm scared. But if you learned that, when you were a kid to invest your money and have a business, you wouldn't be scared. You'd be doing it, right? So, we continue to struggle and we pass down the struggle to our children. It's like we struggle our whole life to feed our kids just to make sure when we die, we starve them. Because if we don't have life insurance in place, if we don't have assets that's producing income in place, if we don't have a business or we don't have money saved up somewhere, you know, for our kids to tap into to, you know, help them, you know, for like a couple years, then we're going to leave our kids to starve. We're going to leave our kids, you know, with our own bills. I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want to leave my kids with, oh, I got all these bills and my kids got to take care of them now. No. No. Right? No. <laughs> right? I want to be able to say, I didn't have to struggle to feed my kids. And when I die, my kids still eating because of the seeds that I planted while I was living. What's the God name? I forgot his damn name. Damn, he said it good too. He said, we're dead a lot longer than we're fucking alive. So what the hell are you leaving behind? Huh. Fuck my whole head up. <laughs> Fuck my whole head up. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. We're dead a lot longer than we're alive. And that is the God's honest truth. So while we're dead, who is gonna remember us? Right? What are your children gonna remember you for? Oh, mom left, left us a condo. Mom left us five businesses. Mom left us, you know, 100 grand in the bank. Oh yeah, your kids gonna feel good. <laughs> but most people, oh, my mom left me with all these bills. Oh, I got to take care of this. Oh, this headache. Oh, that headache. Oh, my mother to have life insurance. Come on, guys. You know, we got to start getting in the wealth mindset. 
We come from prosperity, abundance, not lack. <laughs> you know, it's a Friday. You know, I used to love Fridays when I had a job. Because Friday means the weekend's here and I didn't have to work. But now that I've tapped into this abundance, I've tapped into this prosperity thinking. Now I'm like, oh, I love every day. Every day is a great day to wake up. Every day is a great day to help people. Every day is a great day to make doggone money. But when I had a job, it was like, oh, I get paid every two weeks and I can't wait <laughs> for Friday because I got two days off. No, I can have every day off, right? Because I'm God. God gives us the power to create and not destroy. God gives us the power, you know, to be the head and not the tail. God allows us to be the lender and not the borrower, right? Again, those are not just sayings. Those are truths. I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm the lender, not the borrower. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Do you heard that? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rises up and gets me in judgment shall be condemned. I'm loved by God. I'm chosen by God. I'm protected by God. So see, when you believe that, you start taking action. When you believe that, right, you want to see the world. You want to see abundance. You don't want to see yourself struggling. You don't want to see your kids struggling. You don't want to see people around you struggling. Right? Even for my aunts and my grandmothers who I'm around all the time. Guess what? I'm teaching them about stocks. And they actually putting money into stocks. Right? Because I'm like, damn, if I know how to make my money make me money, well, I could show my grandmother who never knew. I could show my dad who never knew. I can show my mother who never knew, right? So it has to be somebody in the family that's gonna stick out. Somebody in the family gotta be talking about wealth. So it had to be me, had to be me, right? Had to be me. So is it gonna be you? But you gotta start first. So you gotta start the business, right? You gotta start reading. You gotta start plugging into abundance. You gotta start plugging into prosperity. Because now they'll start seeing you and they'll start seeing your life as an inspiration, right? Now my family sees me as an inspiration or motivation. Well, my aunt said I'm a motivational speaker. <laughs> but as a motivation now, instead of just, oh, you know, oh, here comes Tanisha trying to sell something. No, it's, no, Tanisha, every time she talk, like she be spitting knowledge. Like, that's how my aunt, she's like, you be saying some shit. My uncle be like, yo, I ain't never heard that, right? So now I'm of value to my family, right? Not just begging them to buy my products, not just begging them to buy my services. Now I'm of value, right? Because I believe in abundance. I believe in prosperity. What the fuck is me having all this knowledge, all this wealth of knowledge in my fucking head, and I'm the only one getting rich and everybody around me broke? That is stupid. <laughs> then what the fuck I'm getting all this money for then? For what? Just to say? No. Just to say that shit? No. Mm -mm. No. You got to be able to help others. And that's how you're really blessed. Right? That's how you're really blessed. Not the amount of money you got. Not the amount of money you generating. But how many other people you helping generate money? How many other people you helping sleep better at night? How many other people you helping, uh, you know, get their health right? How many other people you helping get their credit right? How many other people you helping invest in stocks and shit? How many other people? That's what God gonna say. Tanisha, what did you do in life that inspired others to do what you doing? That's all God gonna say. He don't give a fuck, oh, baby daddy, no. So let's start thinking in abundance, guys. <laughs> baby, put the phone down, you're supposed to be walking. Well, me too, right? What do you think? <laughs> All right, guys. CBDHealthForYou.net. Start that business so you can start living in abundance today.